Hello everyone, welcome back to Tam's Classy Creations, the channel where we break down projects so even a beginner can do them. Before we get started today, I want to ask everyone to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I release a new video. Today we are going to make fabric buckets or baskets. I'm going to break this down so you can create any size you need. So let's get started. We're going to start out with a 12 by 20 inch piece of material. We're going to have a lining, although you technically don't have to have a lining, and then you need batting and you need your topping. This is a twill fabric. This is the place you cut it a little bigger than 12 by 20. This is where you can do any kind of free motion quilting or you can go back to the, the squares that I did in a previous video. I showed you how to do them, how to mark them. Have your 45 going uh, straight across, how to do them on the 45 degree. So anything, first off, that's what you want to do. You want to get it quilting. Next, we're going to cut it down after you've done your free motion other quilting to a 12 by 20. So this is where I have it cut um, 12 by 20. So you're going to fold it the long way right sides together and you're actually going to stitch up quarter inch on both sides. So after we have stitched up both sides, we are going to box the corners. I'm going to explain a little bit about boxing corners. I usually like to cut mine. Uh, some people will tell you to line this up and um, your corner's good, your line, and make a stitch. I prefer this way. I prefer, now, um, you have to do a square. You cannot put together anything that's not a square, but you'll see some patterns will say uh, cut a, a, a box or a, a box out of three and a quarter uh, out of your material three and a quarter by three. What their meaning is the three and the quarter inch seam. But if you remember, just always place it on the edge, the edge where the fabric is, not where your seam is. It's always a square. So if you do a three by three and you'll cut this out, And now I'm going to do the other side, but now the other side doesn't have my seam in it, so I'm going to pretend it does. I'm going to cut another three inch square. Now you could do two inch, two and a half um, inch squares. Now, if you add three and three, six and a quarter inch seam and a quarter inch seam, your um, box will be six and a half and then if you measure it's not going to be square but the other side you're going to have a six and a half and then here from square to square you're going to have is five and a quarter inches so you're going to have five and a quarter now on this sample um, here I did do a six inch uh, or a three inch box. So if you measure it, 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 it measures uh, six and a half. And um, if you can see the bottom, the box. So now in another sample, I have done two and a half inch. So this one would measure five and a half with the measurement. So this one's going to be closer to square on the bottom. But you see how you can understand how big to put your box in. So now we're going to go to the lining. We're going to cut these and sew it, but I'm going to show you on the lining what to do. So whatever you do with the, with the outer basket, you do with the lining. So here I had cut my three inch and um, squares out and you're just going to fold them together and you're going to run a quarter inch seam down there. So after you do that, uh, I have a sample where we have, um, uh, you just put the lining inside the basket and then we'll show you how to do the topper. Here's my basket and I said that you do the same exact thing with the lining, but you'll just set it inside with everything matching, you match up your seams. And then we're gonna complete 
the bag. We just need to make a topper for it. So what I've done is you can do all kinds of uh, things. I just sewed some strips together and you can do it anywhere from five to six inch. You can do longer strips and cut it, but you need about a five, uh, five to six inch strip. Now, if, you, if you're making this size a 12 by 20, um, the, uh, the distance around here is 24 inches, the two 12s, minus your half inch seam. So you're about at 23 and a half. So you want to get your band about 23, um, 23. To tw you don't want it bigger than 23 and a half because that's what your measurement is. You're just gonna stitch it up. You're gonna iron it, press it in half, just like that. Now what you're going to do is sew all three of these together. So you're going to line up your lining, you're going to line up, you're going to pin that in and you're going to go all around this at a quarter inch seam. I have it marked here. And then I'm going to show you in my sample what's next. So once you've made that stitch around the top, all you have to do is bring out that band that we made and there's our completed basket. So changing up the sizes a little, changing up the box pleats in them, uh, look at the differences you can do. I hope you enjoyed the video. Now you'll be able to make your own fabric basket. That's all I have for today. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.